Okay, so today let's uh, see about scheduling. So we'll be covering a, a basic version of scheduling. So there are other parts to scheduling called as the advanced scheduler. So what advanced scheduler does is it's going to forecast and uh, predict the schedules based on it. So advanced scheduler is basically used in retail and uh, healthcare um, uh, areas. So, so take example of retail so what happens is in retail so consider examples like your supermarkets or your provision stores so <coughs> based on how much sales you have done in the last year you're going to predict how much sales you will be doing this year and how much staff you need for doing the operations in the store so that is your forecasting that's combined together is called as advanced scheduling your forecasting and your scheduling but uh, we'll be seeing the basic version of scheduling so this part comes up along with your uh, timekeepers um, so this uh, workforce timekeeper comes with with its own scheduling application with some basic function that allows you to manage some groups of employees and to track their attendance based on the scheduled shifts so you know there are other uh, additional scheduling products that can be purchased license and installs okay before that just give me one minute mm. okay so i think you can use this your name to test it you can use the same test login and you can test it on your name uh, one second okay so you can continue using test but please be careful because i have given test some access to system configuration and all so just be careful with that and just for Follow the document and you know you can test uh, on your name like Ranori your number is 1002 and Shashmita yours is 1003 so you can come to quick find you can type 1002 and you will get your uh, thing you can go to your time cards you know here you'll get your time card you will have to you know where to add the payroll right in the people editor in job assignment You'll come to your timekeeper. You'll come to your timekeeper. And you'll add your payroll here. So whatever payroll you create, like create some payroll called Ranali first itself and uh, add it and you can save it. So make sure you add it as of Sunday for the week, say 9.19. And then from Monday, you can start giving some dates and you can test based on it. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure I'll add this information to you, but I just wanted to let you know. Um, so in some in, in some of the uh, conditions, you will have to add schedule. So that's why I'm covering schedules today. So I'll, I'll show you how we will add schedules. Or I think it's better. Will you be trying it today? You'll be trying it only tomorrow, right? hello hello <coughs> yeah you'll be uh, trying the test only tomorrow right this setup uh, yes okay so just uh, make sure you check your uh, document today like the folder that's on the remote desktop just make sure you check it if there is any notes I'll, I'll add it in there so you can uh, i'll write down there if you have to use test login or you have to use your own login okay okay i'll probably control the fap and then uh, I'll let you know so we'll be covering access so i'll be teaching you how i'm doing the access thing also so i'll i'll do it at the end uh, we'll just do one by one so you know you'll be able to relate to relate to things okay so we'll see some benefits of scheduling so why we have to do some scheduling so the first thing is you will be restricting punches so when you're managing time data for individual employees with their schedules there are number of benefits so the first thing is to 
configure your workforce timekeeper to use scheduled punches to ensure that custom driven restrictions is 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 made as one of the benefits so your company might want to limit how early an employee can punch in for their scheduled start time so for example if an employee is scheduled to start at 7 a.m but if he is punching it at 5 30 a.m your system can restrict the punches that early punch because it is because it is not it because it's very much before the scheduled start time right so this works for same for the scheduled end time as well so one of the benefits of scheduling is restricting punches the second benefit is rounding the punches so you work for start Timekeeper can use your scheduled punches to round to round the punches. So rounding punches can be handled differently than uh, rounding punches for a scheduled punch can be handled differently than an unscheduled. So you you will be doing rounding punch. Okay, uh, so that is one advantage why you can uh, use scheduling. So the first thing is you will be able to restrict your punches. The second thing is you will be able to round your punches. The third benefit is you will be able to track attendance uh, using scheduling. So, so since you have scheduled employees, you can tell when there is an exception like when when an employee is absent you can tell the system to mark the employee as absence and you can also further uh, tell the system to you know make sure if it's an unexcused absence or if it is an excused absence so uh, so since we have some employees scheduled, we can tell when there is an exception, like when the employee is absent. So we can also tell when they don't show up to work as expected, called as the unexcused absence. So the fourth benefit why we schedule is you can also track your non-work tasks. So in your schedules, you can also add vacation or sick in for the future. Like you can say, okay, I'm taking a vacation next week. So you can, in your schedules, instead of a schedule, you can add a vacation, say for eight hours, eight hours or so. So basic scheduling in your workforce timekeeper allows you to also schedule the non-work tasks like your vacation or the sick time. So because this time is scheduled, it will appear in your time card. This will help your manager understand where a coverage is needed uh, for a particular day or a shift. So your manager can, so if your manager, if you are a manager and if you have five to six employees, you will be able to identify when an employee is going for a vacation and when you need some if you need somebody else to fill in for the shift so when you add uh, schedules it's going to automatically okay so when you add a schedule in your scheduler it will automatically populate the schedules in your time card so just before we saw a time card right so we were able to see an in and out column so before that there's a schedules column and it will show you what schedule is there for that employee for that day so your holidays and non worked schedule time will also appear in your time card your company also has the option of having the employees schedule time appear in the time card automatically so this is very useful if you have any salaried employees uh, so, because what happens in those cases, you will be able to compare the schedules and what in and out time actually uh, has appeared. So, it will be in purple color. So, we work all these things in something called as the schedule planner widget. So, that widget is going to, you know, help you add shifts or add add any uh, uh, add shifts to the system. So. One second, let me see if I'm able to access this. Okay, uh, so do you have experience uh, seeing this schedules page and all? Can you tell me what basically you do in Kronos? Like, uh, have you tried to, like, have you tried to map anything that we have yes. discussed so far? Yes, we are scheduling for scheduling for people. Hello. In shift basis. Yeah, hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, hello. yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. And we are applying leave for the, their scheduling and approving OT. Oh, nice. So you log in as some kind of administrator, but you will not be able to access setup. So you can access the yes. admin page and you can pick up employees, you know, to add patterns and all, right? 
yes yes we know okay so you know what shifts shift templates are pattern pattern templates or you just have to see how we do it in setup yes okay great uh, can we start with the tomorrow in basic scheduling i just have to show you shifts pattern and pattern templates it won't take much time so we can do it tomorrow okay ma'am no problem okay okay uh, uh, just go question. through the document today yes yes yeah yes. yeah we'll please go, go ahead that document um uh, did you take our sql uh, class also you told us to take some bit uh, basic of sql Ah uh, no, I didn't take no SQL yet. We didn't cover no. Yes, yes. SQL and WIM is pending. SQL and WIM. IM. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'll I'll cover the basics for both. I'll I'll do it at the end. Okay. We'll finish application okay. first, and then I'll do it at the end. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Also, remember once in Notepad, I wrote a set of things that I have to teach for you, right? Like balancing cascades, duration payloads. Do you have that? If you have that recording, can you just check and let me know what the other items are? I have it okay. written, but I only have marked for two or three things. So, if possible, just check and let me know tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ah, uh, just go through the pay policies document that I've added. I'll create your usernames and I will. I'll I'll put it out by tonight, so you'll be able to test it out tomorrow. Okay. No problem. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take care. Yeah. Good night. Bye. Good night.